Hi everyone, welcome back to day two of our seven days to elevate your confidence activation series. I'm really excited to be with you on our second day. Um, and I'm just going to go through what we talked about um, yesterday and, and we'll move to the next level. So we talked about your biggest challenges when it comes to your confidence on day one and what are the, um, the areas in your life that you wish you had more confidence that you know with all your heart that would make a massive difference in your life. And we talked about how you would feel the feeling if you were no longer controlled by that fear. Because in order to build our inner confidence and achieve our goals, it is really important to identify these limiting beliefs that are holding us back. Limiting beliefs are um, these negative thoughts and beliefs that we hold about ourselves. Or it could often be what others think negatively about us. And this can be actually our perception of what world around us may be thinking of us. So, so these beliefs can actually be deeply ingrained and can have a powerful impact on our lives. And often it prevents us from pursuing our dreams and achieving our full potential. And the first step to overcome limiting beliefs is to really identify them. This can be a really difficult um, process, I know, and it will be a very uncomfortable process too, but it requires you to really take a hard look at yourself. I want you to confront some of your deepest fears and insecurities. But identifying your limiting beliefs, you will begin to understand how they're affecting your life and take steps to challenge and overcome them. So to identify your limiting beliefs, what I want you to do is really start by paying attention to your thoughts and your feelings. Feelings are really important. Just pay attention to your thoughts and feelings throughout the day. Notice them. Like notice when you feel anxious or stressed or discouraged even. Um, and just try to identify the thoughts or beliefs that are causing these feelings like what triggers these feelings what happens and then you have these feelings i want you to write these thoughts and beliefs down in your workbook on the day two um like i'm going to talk to you about like some of the common limiting beliefs i hear over and over again from my clients um like i'm not good enough oh yeah i will never be able to do that i left or I hear this often, I'm not, I'm too young, or I'm too old, I'm too fat to be on the screen, or I'm too tall to wear those heels, or it could be like, I don't have the skills or talent or experience to succeed. And the worst one is like, I'm not worthy of success, I'm not worthy of happiness, I'm not worthy of love. Once you identify your limiting beliefs, I want you to be very specific like how they're affecting your life. For example, if your limiting beliefs is, I'm not gonna, good enough, um, ask yourself, how this belief is affecting your relationships? Or how is it affecting your business and your overall happiness in every day? There are lovely questions that are created on your workbook, like what thoughts or beliefs do you have about yourself um, that are limiting? they're limiting and they're negative or when these limiting beliefs come up for you um how do you feel like how how do these limiting beliefs affect your life remember when you identify your limiting beliefs it is going to be our just first step to overcoming them uh, on our third day we will focus on challenging these beliefs and will hopefully replace them with more positive and empowering ones. So until tomorrow, look after yourself and just be very honest. I know it's not going to be easy, but I know it's going to be worth it. I'll see you tomorrow.